what's going on good people so let's see what the energy is like for you guys today it's actually 2 12 p.m here in baltimore y'all check out the synchronicities don't forget to flip these rolls take only what you need and leave the rest please use the spirit of discernment okay now look somebody is walking away from something y'all i got my air fryer going on in the background i am cooking a pizza i'm hungry okay <laughs> so excuse me you may hear a loud beep I'll try to pause so I can let that beat through and then keep continuing. All right. But the walking away card is here. Um, and let me see what else you got from these spirit teams. I don't know if you're masculine or feminine. I don't know what timeline you are on. But however, if it resonates, wonderful. If it doesn't, don't force it to fit. Okay. All right. So somebody needs to let go of something. The world card came out or you may be walking away from something. It could be a pattern. It could be a habit. It could be a mindset. It could be even a person, a situation, whatever it is. It's like it seems to me that you could be going towards. It's like you're stepping outside of your comfort zone. It's like you're starting to realize, like, you know what? There's so much more out here for me in the world. Right. Instead of me continuing to keep holding on to these same patterns and habits and behaviors. Right. Or people. It's like, you know, what you're understanding now, like, look, I can't keep up with these emotional patterns. I need a healthier experience, right? So this is where the world comes in. It's like, you're realizing, you know what? The world is my oyster. I'm about to gobble up, okay? <laughs> look at that cornucopia and the angel of balance that came out. So this is everything that you hope and wish for, okay? You begin to balance your energies is how I'm seeing it. Um, working on your shadow self. <laughs> It's like you're working on your shadow self now. It's like you're detaching um, from those habits and those patterns here. And you're open for a new beginning. You're open for a new beginning. Like that'd be like forever it felt like. But yeah, it's like these great blessings that are coming to you now. Whether it's job fulfillment, um, whether it's um, love, whether it's a project you're working on. Whatever it is, you planted some seeds and they're ready to harvest at this moment. And all it was taking, or if you haven't gotten to this point yet and you're still kind of in a little uproar, all it takes is for you to be balanced, okay? Know your extremes, honey, and balance yourself. In order for you to manifest what you're trying to manifest with this cornucopia, honey, that's everything. You talking about universe, bless me, Okay? You got to be a vibrational match to the universe. All right. That means you have to be centered. You have to make self-honoring choices for yourself. Um, you've been out of zinc in the past. Okay. A greater equilibrium is coming into your life now. All right. If you're still off balance, just know, just start to believe it. Just already start claiming it. You know what? I am balanced. I am at peace. I make self-honoring choices because you have to be conscious about your physical and emotional energies at this time it's like you want this balance to come into your life in the form of abundance in the form of blessings but what are you willing to give to receive that okay and it requires you to just let go of the false beliefs all right the old habits the patterns things like that i know it sounds so simple right i'm making be like you know all you gotta do is <laughs> all right, look i'm a work in progress progress too so you're not in it alone. I do understand sometimes how hard it is to release our egos, but it can be done. It just takes consistency. Show me what I need to see. Consistency, consistent shadow work, working with your subconscious mind, healing, alternative therapies are definitely um, good methods to use. And if you need to see a therapist, God damn it, go find one. There's plenty of them out here. Okay. Talk through these things so that you can begin to heal. So the card came out with defense. So off the back, spirit is telling you something here right now. So let me pull the hold up. Let me open up the book real quick so I can read it to you. I don't want to fudge this up. It says, there are only so many times one can endure harsh criticism, judgment, and unfair comments. You feel that you are always under attack. And so defense has become your immediate response mechanism. Sadly, because you feel you have to defend that part of you that others fear to understand. So you are dimming your light somewhat to avoid persecution. Aradia, because that's the name of this goddess, okay, will guard you well as she encourages you to ignore the opinions of others. Fully embrace exactly who you are and remind you that the power lives within you. 
Mystery and magic of the old way beckon, and Aradia encourages you to tap into an ancient wisdom that is the power of nature. Here, you shall find the tools to assist you in protecting all that you stand for. Defend your path and that of those who have been oppressed, for there is no need to seek the approval of others. Okay, it says, um, quit being on a defense. Past hurts are affecting your reactions. Never mistake kindness for weakness. Stand strong in your convictions. Connect with the magic of nature. Defend your cause. Be proud of who you are. A vulnerable person or animal may need your help. So those are just additional foresights to the, to the card. But however, y'all get the point, right? You can drop your guards. It's, it's a habit. It's a defense mechanism. That's just how I'm saying it. It's a habit of yours. You do it to protect yourself. So you get on the defense and you may think some people are, you know, attacking you automatically off the bat because you have endured harsh criticism in the past, even probably from the same people. Okay. And what I'm hearing is like some of them were karmic. Okay. Some of them were karmic. So you were supposed to learn certain lessons then but not hold on to it. But it is embedded in your DNA almost like it's what I just heard, right? It's, it's become trauma. It's you. This is a trauma response is what I'm, what I'm hearing. Okay, tell me about Aradia. So you got to heal the trauma. Yeah, the emperor reverse. So it comes from someone who operated in that reverse energy. All right, it could be an older masculine, somebody that you have children by. It could be a father, you know, but that's where it comes from, Okay. Um, they could be a fire sign. They don't have to be because we don't know what be in people charts, right? So don't, you know, don't try to absorb that completely. But I do feel like this is somebody who was an authority figure at some point in your life. Okay. Or, a, or an ex or a father or something like that. Right. And this is probably why you're always on a defense because the emperor reverse can be quite, let me tell you, they not balanced at all. They lack structure. Okay, um, they're very stubborn. They don't, they're not great leaders. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, 10 of Pentacles in the reverse. So it could be somebody, again, that you have family by or somebody who was in your family. Okay, um, that that causes you to be on the, de the defense is what I'm hearing. Let me check my time. All right, tell me what I need to see. Yep, this is why you always kind of question it and you're blocked in your intuition here with the high priestess coming out in the reverse. But there's a solution, right? The eight of swords is in the reverse. You actually have the freedom. Like that situation, that's the past. That's behind you. So this is why spirit is saying, look, you know what? Take a more positive path. Keep moving forward. Release the hurt. Release the pain. It's now time for you to take control of your life because what is happening is that you're giving your power away to a situation and to a person that's no longer in your energy or even if they are say like it's, if it's a father figure and they're still in your energy you still have to kind of find a way around that situation it's like try to see it with a clear perspective right and then begin taking a more active approach to your own life to release that con control that this person still has over you mentally right so this is subconscious um thinking you got to go deep that's what keeps you blocked in your intuition or clouded in your judgment or feeling like you have no way out sometimes i'm hearing even defeated you know not really having real set plans or goals show me what i need to see here mm -hmm. coming out knight of cups reverse and always really triggered and what i see even with that knight of cups reverse sometimes the knight of cups reverse can jump to conclusions y'all i mean you can be a female operating as the knight of cups it's just energy could be very overly emotional. They could jump to conclusions. Um, emotions can control them. Mm -hmm. Ten of Wands. So somebody is definitely carrying or was carrying a lot of burden. And this is coming from these past situations. So you get it, right? So if you already made the healthy conscious choice to move forward, to go towards your cornucopia, that's what's coming to you. But if you're still feeling like you're stuck at a crossroads, and you're at a stalemate, spirit is telling you, release the burdens. You don't have to carry this weight, okay? The worst is behind you. And as you're leveling up and as you're healing and as you are evolving, this type of situations can't come to you any longer because now you're on a whole totally different frequency. You understand? It's like that stuff won't resonate with you. And then if it does come into your energy field, you're going to automatically propel it. You feel me? Because you're changed. You're different. You're healing. So you don't, you won't accept the same bullshit from people. 
okay, or situations anymore. I mean, think about it, y'all. All right, so let go. Congratulations to those of you who have done it. Peace.